He was speeding police. Uh -huh. He cuts off two people in this lane with no turn signal and trying to get behind this guy for I don't know why. He can't even park. He like wants to block him in. Intimidation tactics. That's all my guys. Yeah, I know. Are oh, you not going to take the city in this complaint? Yeah, you dirty. Look. So what up everyone, this is Pitbull Crap Watch Las Vegas. I'm over here about to cross over at the dispensary. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes to stand over there and check it out. As everyone talked to me, you know, saying I had a lot of viewers come in, like at least 10, 15 different viewers at different times say how this guy runs the sidewalk. He doesn't like when you stand there for too long at all. If you have a camera, they're gonna trip, they said. I'm gonna check it out, see what they say, all right? We're gonna check it out. This is Pitbull Pop Watch Las Vegas. Subscribe, like, just hit that subscribe button, thanks. So another fact about this dispensary for sure is the clientele that come here, very, you know, not just normal square little dudes or whatever, so. You see all aspects of, you know, what you're filming, you know, come to a dispensary. You never know. It could be a school teacher. It could be a priest. It could be your mom. It could be a straight, you know, thugged out gangster. It could be uh, anybody, you know what I mean? But what they're doing is they're, they're paying for taxes in the community, which is always a good thing, you know. You just have to be on point with what you're doing. Yes. You know, doing what, you're, what they go for. So, you know, I mean, like, look at this lady over there. You would have never thought that lady was about to go in there. And, uh, she's all there to be my grandma, probably, you know. I said, okay. But it's very diverse. But the only reason I'm even here is not because of them. I really don't care about dispensaries, you know. They're cool as ever, but it's the somebody said, <laughs> It makes me wonder what's going on and why I can't film on that sidewalk, you know? So then they always say. So here's the security guard. He's probably going to say something. We're going to talk to him a little, see what he says, but you never know what you're doing. Hey. No, that's not on me to cover a HIPAA violation. I'm on a fan walk, a public sidewalk. So whatever my eyes can see, I can film. So if I film this, I can film this. I mean, it's not that's my, not my concern, really, but I can make it my concern. I mean, I'm allowed to. Yeah. But you're telling me that I'm not allowed to film this way. Like, I can film that way. That makes no sense what you just said to me. Yeah, you're saying that I can't film this, but I can film it that way. But not on me. That's on you guys to protect their information, not me. They're in public. They're in public. Does it matter what I'm videoing? I mean, now I'm gonna. I'm wondering why I shouldn't. I wasn't even caring about this. I was more about the strip. But now I'm wondering why you're coming at me saying no, I can't film this. I know I can. I don't know who you tell that to, but I know I can film here. I mean, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be a problem. I mean, we came over here saying that I'm not allowed. It's a HIPAA violation. That's not me. That's a medical thing for you guys, I guess. And that's on you as a doctor, or whoever's, you know, has the HIPAA violation. It's not on me as the public. I'm just trying to help you out, man, because you don't want to get in trouble telling somebody that, because it's totally against a lot. Really? Public sidewalk, public area, public anything, whatever my eyes can see, I can film here, I can film up top, I can go over here, I can do whatever I want. Like, you know, I don't know why you would say that, man. It's very, whoever told you that misinformed you. I mean, that's all I'm saying. They misinformed you. All right. We just want to make sure, I mean, I can care less who was coming out or in this place, but now it interests me more because you came over here and asked me or told me, you told me that I'm not allowed to film that way, which I know is not right. It's very, <laughs> very, it's suspect, though. It's suspicious, right? That's suspect behavior. 
I mean, what if I told you I don't want you to look this way? Are you gonna victim here just because I told you that? See, that's what I'm saying. That's not a law. Well, you just said isn't a law either. I mean, it's not. I don't know if somebody that you work for and they told you that they're wrong. You can let them know. Like, I mean, see, I'm filming this guy walk it out, but I don't know who he is. I can care less who he is, right? But I'm filming it. I can. You know. It's nice to meet you, man. So, at this point, security came out and told me that I'm not allowed to film in this location because it's a HIPAA violation. So, he said that it's a HIPAA violation to film this location. But he said I can film this from the public sidewalk, which you see right now, public sidewalk. But I can't film that. So, you do you know what the difference is, is when you're walking through here, if I'm filming here, you have to be filming. Like, you know, they always try to say that, is what you have to realize, people, is they say it's a HIPAA violation. Yeah, but you know what a HIPAA violation is? That's for when the doctor lets somebody see your information or somehow gives your information up in the towards like you know something wrong with it like it's not for me to care about who's coming in and out of anywhere this is public you feel it not what a crap lot what a hate way it's pretty interesting so this is Pitbull Cop Watch Las Vegas and you just saw, you know, the guy just came out here, the security guard. Now, that wasn't the security guard in the comments, I'm pretty sure, that you guys talked about, saying getting, that he was getting loud and he was, you know, like, you know, get rough and bully you and push people if they got too close. Like, I don't know if it's true or not, but that guy didn't do that, and it doesn't look like the guy that they were talking about. No matter where you are on the sidewalk, you're pretty much in front of their spot. So any car that drives by is seeing everything go on. There's somebody going in, somebody going out. You know what I mean? Maybe you can see the sunset going down, man. It's nice. This street is just like always packed. So, in the strip area, ridiculous stuff. So, this guy must work here with this one thing because he's, uh, you know, filming on the outside, so it's all good. Now, there's customers, but I don't want to get them. You see, I can't, and it'd be easy, and they would never know that I'm getting them on such a wide angle lens. All I'm worried about is the security guard, what they do if I stand here for a little while and keep filming them and their shop and everything else about it. Rob guy, he's loud as ever, but he's cool. I like it. I mean, that's custom for sure for their shop, for their sign. Like, they made that, you know what I mean? Pretty cool. So this guy has to juggle stuff, get his uh, key card out. He's got a film in going on. Their hours of operation is 12 hours a day, so you know, they're open all the time, non stop. It never closes. There's no bad day time, I don't think so. Maybe on Friday. I bet Fridays are packed in this lot. Right now, it doesn't look that packed, right? What is this guy doing? This is interesting. Let's see this. 
don't know what this cop like. I don't know what this cop's doing, but I need to see. Is this like a kind of scary? He's lighting that dude up, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that's what I see. So we're we'll abandoning this for a minute because that cop just went crazy and it's a school police. So for him to pull somebody over is very crazy. So I want to see what is going on with that. Let's see what happened. Pull him over in a Starbucks drive through It's crazy right here. Oh, this is good shit. And it's Pitbull Cop Watch Las Vegas. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah Pitbull Cop Watch Las Vegas. I got over millions of views on certain videos. Okay. I'm the real deal. You check it out. Yeah. yeah. Pitbull Cop Watch Las Vegas. Yep, yeah. Las Vegas. That's me. Are you, are you watching me? Come on, man. It's nice to see some fans out here. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Man, we got to keep these police fucking uncorrupt, man. They're fucking fucking up. This guy. Can we go find him? I'll spend the man here. He cut off two people, no turn signal. Went fucking crazy to get him, but look, he's a school police. Now he's blocking Starbucks and stuff. Oh, wait, what happened? He's a school police. Uh -huh. He cuts off two people in this lane with no turn signal to try to get behind this guy, but I don't know why. Because uh -huh. I got it on film. Uh -huh. And he can't hear you. He's not going to get turned from right here. Let's hit this other car. Oh, my God. He's he, he crazy, crazy. But he's going to let the guy go now because there's a camera here. He's scared. And the Starbucks is telling him this is private property. We need to move. I bet that's what the Starbucks guy said. I hope that's what he said. I hope he told him, get the fuck out of this drive through <laughs> I'm Ah, he did. I'm telling you. Pull out of here, man. Get me a couple of times on New Year's. <laughs> Have a good day, man. That guy was so mad, he just let him go. You see? Yeah. Hey, a camera works. The camera works. Yeah, yeah. You just win this. Look, he didn't have to do something, and he just left. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to fuck with him some more. <laughs> <laughs> so we out here, there's fans and shit. So this cop, I don't know what he did, man, but he is mad, man. Like, he, he, he like almost hit the red car. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a private lot over there, so I'm not gonna take a chance. So this is uh, unit 1965. Hey, the way he was driving was crazy. Here we are at 3FS Studios. This is where you're going to be able to rent out podcast space, how you'll be able to rent out OnlyFans room, media space. This is our entryway. When you walk in, it's going to be live. People are going to be able to watch you while you're in the podcast room. This is what it looks like. Free of fest. The backdrop can be whatever backdrop you want. We can put up any backdrop you want for your backdrop. This is how it is in here. You see you got your setup with all your mics, your headphones, your sound boards. You got cameras set up everywhere in here. So you're all good in here. And then this right here is the engineer, like the sound guy. He'll be able to watch you and see you from there. That's why that's there. So you go into here and you see he's all set up with his engineer space, everything, so he can be able to handle and control all the sound in there. In here, this is our OnlyFans room. And as you can see, this is it. I mean, we have different things, options like, you know, massage tables, different chairs, different types of, you know, furniture in here, different setups, different backdrops. If you want it to open up and be able to see out, you can open up and see out in here. That's that. You got light up mirrors. This is the OnlyFans room. So this is a good room here for you guys. We're going to have our merch with 3FS Studios here. So this is where we make all our merch. We make merch in here. All the shirts, all the setup. And then after you're done, you know, doing your podcast, doing your thing, on top of it, you can come in here. You got our 
financial like podcast room that we do a lot of financial. We can rent out this space too and do financial podcasting here. I mean, this is this is the like just my office in the back. So when you're done recording, you're done doing all that stuff. Come back here in between sets, play some video games. You know. We want to have some shots on tap. We got the Hemi on tap, Tavassier, the VFS Cognac on tap, always. That's all, at your hands when you come here. You're allowed to have some drinks, smoke, you know, do what you need to do. This is how we roll. So if you guys want to rent out space, I got rental space out. We're doing different hourly rates, day rates, whatever you want, you know, for your, if you want. And we got an editor. He'll edit all your stuff. All your channel, all your stuff, your intros, your outros, he'll do your whole channel. We got people that will manage your channel. We'll set it and start your channel for you. If you don't have a channel, we're gonna do all that stuff for you. So like I said, this is Eric at 3FS Studios. I'm here just trying to let you guys know that we're here to help you start your channel, make your money. If you already have a channel, come here, use our space. We're gonna be able to beat all the other studios in Vegas, all their time, all their space. I got you guys. So he was really mad at whatever it was. I don't know what it was, but he was mad as hell. He in there, he mad. He don't like that shit. He hell mad. He went after him, I don't know what it was, but he went after him, so we're gonna stand here and see what he wanted. It's pretty insane, like, I, you normally don't see uh, the school police do that, you know what I mean? Like on a public road, like they're not in a school district right now. I don't know where they are. But they're blocking the car, like they're making this car is sitting there. I don't know, he's giving them a ticket for something. But he better know he's on camera right now. That's garbage. Because if he's giving him a ticket, he should, he should definitely be giving himself a ticket for no turn signal. Illegal lane change, just non-stop. I mean, the violations on him were stacked. Stacked. Like, this car was not even anywhere near as erratic as this cop. Look at the cop blocking the whole parking lot. He can't even park. He like, wants to block him in, intimidation tactics. There's no reason for him to be that close and all that, facing them. For what? For what? And whatever infraction he's given them is so lame. He is so lame, for sure. You already know, this is Pitbull Cop Watch Las Vegas. Subscribe, man. We don't like this corruption, man. Because this guy here, he almost hit two cars. He, he no turn signal. I mean, bro, he did so many illegal things, but now what he's going to do is try to uh, give this guy tickets or try to talk shit to him. But what he did just to get behind this guy was disgusting. It was the worst driving I've seen in a lot of years of doing this. By chance, I'm filming it. So the whole thing's I'm filming this guy doing. This cop just has no shit. He legit didn't even... Uh, he used no infractions, no turn saying, I mean, this for, and he didn't have his lights on when he was doing all that, when he was trying to get over and trying to do, he was driving more erratic than anybody else on the roadway. This car here, they were driving fine. There was nothing wrong with this car as far as I saw. Whatever infraction he's trying to talk about must have been something he saw later on. That's why you always have to film these guys, man. They are dirty, I'm telling you. He's gonna figure something out. He is so mad. Oh, there's another cop here. See, we got another cop. And who knows what it is? A traffic infraction, but you got another cop here. It's funny as hell. And it's the school police, so it's more crazy. That makes me laugh. For them to drive that bad, the school police, I'm telling you, man, they're tripping. He no turn signal, almost hit two cars to get behind this car. He is tripping this cop. Yeah. 
see my mic right now is probably picking him up now. Like this mic is really good. This is normally where like a cop, if they're doing dirty stuff, they'll turn off their body cameras so they can conspire and then they turn it back on. Like you really have to see what they do. It's crazy. When you get their body cam footage and, and you see how they've muted themselves and shit, it's crazy. But they're allowed to supposedly for, I, I mean, whatever, but it can't be for any good. But now this one violation turned into two school police now, I don't know where, I mean, I, I don't know this area that well. There could be a school somewhere around here, but I don't know. Like, even a school zone, maybe, with speeding, I don't know what they were doing, man, but it, they weren't stopping their traffic. But this cop, man, he, man, he almost hit the other lady. He, I mean, it was crazy. The other people witnessed it. They were like, holy shit, they blocked them out in the Starbucks. The Starbucks person was like, hey, you need to get out of my line. It was awesome shit. And technically, he didn't light them up as I filmed it. Technically, I think, I'm going to have to review my footage. He didn't light them up until he, they had already turned on the private property. So at that point, I don't know what the infraction is that he's trying to do, but... He, uh, yeah, he was out of control to, to, to do whatever he did to get them. And when they pulled into a Starbucks drive through he tried to still get them. And, uh, you know, I mean, for what? For what? I mean, he, he endangered people's lives. It was crazy. This cop right here, I mean, he needs to learn how to drive. We need to see if he has a license. That's what I need to figure out. Because his license probably suspended. <laughs> He's going to give him something. I don't know what he's going to give him, but we're going to see right now. So they're going to give her a warning because I guarantee he realizes I'm filming everything. Man, you were driving. Bro, you were driving. Nah, you were just driving bad, bro. I was doing a story over here, a news story. And I see you, bro. You, bro. You almost hit two cars. No turn signal. No lights on. It's all on video. That's all my. Yeah, I know. But it'll be on my video with millions of views. So you're a journalist, or what? I am, and I'm definitely gonna post that because what you did. What's your name and badge number, by chance? Five eight eight. What's your name, Sergeant? How do you pronounce that? What's your name and badge number? Montoya six seven six. All right. I know. I'm just saying that was dangerous. What you did, whatever that person did, was nothing compared because I was filming the whole thing. There's nothing. I didn't know exactly what you did, but what you did to get to behind you was not even proper. You could have done that in a proper way. How many feet are you supposed to drive to do a turn signal before you get into another range? Because if I didn't do my turn signal for how many feet is it? How many feet is it for the people beside you? No, 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 I'm asking you a question about your violation. You are. Did you violate a man just now? That's the same as arrest, right? Can I get a supervisor for you? I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna get to, don't try to play that game. Let me get your supervisor. Let me get your supervisor. I'll be telling the town dispatch. Let me get the chief that I know that I've talked to for, oh, a whole bunch of times. Yeah, definitely for you, bro. I'm requesting a supervisor. It's live. You're live right now. So just know I'm requesting it and you're not doing in your policy what you're supposed to do. For a school police to almost hit two people and not get your supervisor, and you're gonna be a bad cop too and, and violate me by not getting your supervisor, right? You're not going to get a supervisor? He is a supervisor. I know, but there's a supervisor above him. He can lie. So can I get a card to do a file a complaint? I want to file a complaint. Are you not going to take a city use complaint? Yeah, you dirty. Look. Look. I got your badge, bro. I'm going to file a complaint on both of you. That's internal affairs right there. No badge? I have definitely internal affairs on you guys. Dirty ass pigs. Look at that. Dirty. I am the supervisor. Nobody will tell me what to do. He knows he's supposed to get a supervisor by, by policy, by his policy. It's in the Clark County School District policy. Look at him. Breaking every law there is. What a dirty fucking pig, man. What a fucking dirty pig. 
I say, let me get your supervisor because, oh, it's all on your dash cam too. Well, I'm going to get your body cam and your dash cam, bro. This is Kid Bill Cop Watch Las Vegas. We're going to get all his information and we're going to definitely come after these guys. They didn't get their supervisor. Total violation of their policy live. How many people? We got 4,300 people watching this live. Did not get a supervisor. He thinks he's above the law. That's what it is. This, it won't give me a citizen's complaint. Nothing. He's dirty. Look at that. How many people's lives have you violated, you fucking pig? You dirty fucking pig, bro. And you're supposed to work for the school. You fucking suck. Wow. Almost hit three cars to fucking come and get her. We're the fucking dirty pig. Yeah, I'm filming you still, you fucking dirty pig. Go slow. Break the law again and go too slow. What a fucking dirty pig. Wow. Wow. That is what you get in Vegas, guys. You saw it. I'm filming another story. I mean, look at these guys. Man, man I guarantee if I did a U turn right there, they're going to be talking shit. I guarantee he cut that dude off to dirty ass pigs. So, as you can see, guys, this is Pit Bull Cop Watch Las Vegas. A lot of people dispensary. And you saw right here in the street, there was a cop who kind of pulled over the person. I don't know exactly what it was for, I can't say. But when he tries to pull him over, he has one turn, so he gets hit to another person. Then he doesn't put his lights on. Then he doesn't get a supervisor. Then he blocks private property. I mean, he was down in the middle of house. It was crazy. I couldn't believe what he had done. So back to our story that we're doing now. But that was just what you're saying. When you're standing somewhere in public, then that's what you're seeing. That cop is going to violate her rights. He's going to do everything else. Instead, what he did is he just, you know, gave them a warning. And so it looked like to me there was no ticket. There was nothing like that given. So you have to see what they say about that. You know what I mean? So as I say, this is the Football Cop Watch Las Vegas. Always keep your cameras rolling. Subscribe, like, you know, hit that notification bell. You know what I mean? Make sure that you're watching the channel at all times, guys. Live stuff happens. Yeah, that's a good one. So that, I mean, they showed up deep. It was pretty cool. I never seen some shit like that. So that's real security. That's not just some bullshit security for sure. So they armed to the TT. Like, that's a real deal. They come deep to this spot. They six deep right now. So it's just security. I mean, that's all it is. But they like some real hyped up security or something. 